How's it going, everybody? It's your man, Leonidas, a.k.a. Mr. Homebrew. Now, I wanted to speak to you guys in regards to Laka. There has been a recent update. Yes, you guys will be able to enjoy. As you can see, GameCube. And on top of that, you will also be able to enjoy the Wii. It's there. Now, look at all those. Some are working better than others. Some of my Wii games are also in in a folder I got here. Load content, start directory. Got some Wii games up in there. Probably load one of those up real quickly, show you guys. There's the good old Wii screen. So it's working. Now, I'm going to close that up. There's some important factors in regards to Laka. Now, in this upgrade and in this update, you will get CPU overclock. It will be on default 1020, 1020 megahertz. Now, before it was running at 1912, um, depending on your frame rate, you may want to bump up your CPU overclock. There's also your GPU overclock. I usually keep that on non-docked. It all depends. Now, for installation, I'm going to turn off my Nintendo Switch real quickly. Reboot into RCM. Now, when you guys download this file, this zip file, it's going to have two folders within it. One's going to be the locker folder, and then one's going to be the boot dash scripts dash master folder. The boot slash scripts slash master folder, you're going to want to drag and drop that to your desktop because you're going to need that from your computer. I already have it there, so I'm not going to bother. And the locker folder. That's going to be going on your Nintendo Switch on your micro SD card itself. So, I'm going to remove my micro SD card real quickly from my Nintendo Switch. I'm going to plug my micro SD card into this little dongle I have here. Then, I'm going to plug it into my computer. I'm going to go to the root of my micro SD card. I'm going to open that up. Now, for those who have already followed a previous tutorial, in the root of your micro SD card, you're going to have a boot folder. Delete it. You don't need the boot folder that's sitting on the root of your micro SD card for Locket anymore. Now, you're going to drag and drop the Locka folder within the zip file. Over to your micro SD card. I don't need to do that because I already have it there. Now, once you do that, you're going to properly eject your micro SD card from Windows. Then you will remove it from the computer. Take that micro SD card, put it into your Nintendo Switch. Make sure your micro SD card is FAT32 format. I'm going to repeat that. Make sure your micro SD card is FAT32. That's what is supported by Laka. Now, once your Nintendo Switch is good to go with those files set in place and that folder in place, you're going to Take your RCM jig, or however you get into RCM mode. It's my jig here. You're going to slide it in there. Hold the power button. Or, sorry, you're going to hold the volume button. The volume up button. And then you're going to hold the power button for about three seconds. Then you're going to let go. You should remain on a black screen. That's RCM mode. 
that's a good sign. You don't want it to boot up. You don't want to see the Nintendo logo. Nothing like that. Now once that has been done, plug your Nintendo Switch into your computer and close up this zip file. Remember that boot dash scripts dash master folder. You're gonna open that up. Now within that, depending on your Windows 32 or not, I'm obviously not Windows 32. Um, so I'm gonna click Windows boot dot dat. Windows dash boot dot dat. Dot bat, sorry, dot bat. You're gonna wanna click that, double click it, and it's gonna send the payload for Laka. Give your Nintendo Switch a brief moment. And if all goes well, and you have followed these steps correctly, you should be good to go. Now, if you were using the boot-scripts-master folder from before, don't use that one. Use the one included with the zip file here, because that's the one that's going to get you booted up with this version of Laka. Now again, when Laka boots up, you do have the option to change your screen brightness. So I can turn that down a bit. You do have the option to go to CPU overclock. It's going to be on default, which is the lowest. That's what Horizon has it set to. Um, so it's a good place to have it when you boot up Laka. If you need to overclock, you can overclock too. Go over to, say, what do I want to boot up? I can boot up something real quickly. Um, what should I boot up for everybody? I should boot up some Dragon Ball Z. Tenkaichi Tag Team. Now for audio, you will have to use Bluetooth. As you can see, PSP is running nice. I could overclock that CPU more if I needed to. Again, that audio is done through Bluetooth right now. Down the road, I'm sure we'll have other options. See if we have a safe state real quickly. Probably not. No, I don't think we do. Quit RetroArch. So lock is running pretty nice. You know about the CPU overclocking, the GPU overclocking, the brightness setting. You do have Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, GameCube, N64, all that good stuff. It's all running. It's all running nicely. Give it a moment. There you go, 007. It's nice to see how far things have come so quickly on the Nintendo Switch. This is your man, Mr. Homebrew. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. It does show your support for the channel. There'll be more great videos to come soon, more great updates and announcements for everybody, more helpful tutorials to make your guys' life a lot easier when it comes to getting things set up. So remember, you're going to go within that Laka zip file. You're going to copy the Laka folder from that zip file to the root of your micro SD card that's formatted as FAT32. Also, you're going to copy or drag and drop out of that Laka.zip the boot-scripts-master file. And to get Laka booted up, launch that Windows boot.bat file. And you'll be good to go. All the best. Your man, Mr. Homebrew. I hope you guys enjoy. Take care.